hi everyone in the last video we have made a box and the torus and they both have the same rotate x y and z and but i want my box which is inside the torus to be rotating in a different way so how to do that for doing that i need to do separate the box first so i'm going to take the box from here and now i am going to put the box up here why i separate this i am going to tell you in a bit that i want them to work separately for working separately in webgl you need to put the code inside the push and the pop so if i use push and the pop what will happen that if I give the box any other rotation like I just give it a X or a Y uh, so it will be the box will be rotating on its own while the torus will be rotating in X Y and Z so I'm going to do the same thing with the box so I'm going to write push here and pop here now the box is separated from this code basic function of push and pop is again to consolidate the code and it will not when it's consolidated it will not affect the other codes and i'm going to take the same normal material and say it's just rotating in the x so control c and Put this here and now when I'm going to run it the box should be moving in the X and the torus is moving in the X Y and Z axis we can change this box to the sphere as well so if I have to change the sphere just have to write a sphere here and instead of giving three values i will just give one value of 100 uh, not 100 let's make the sphere a little bit smaller so it look nicer so let's say 80 and now i'm going to run still you can see the sphere you cannot see the sphere moving as such but we are able to see it it's between that we can decrease the size of the sphere a little bit more and yeah there it is right if you want to change uh, from a sphere to something else you can do that as well so let's change it to a cone a cone is also appearing so for the cone we just have to change the cone but we again have to give like the torus the values to it so the one is the height of it then the width and then the uh, edges again so 60 50 and uh, let's see 24 to start with yep now you can see a cone is appearing in the middle and it's going in the x more better than the sphere we can increase the height of the uh, of it also by let's say 60 i did it now i play better but not too much let's change this a bit more so now it's getting wider but not in the height let's change more of this so let's say it's a 80 yeah it's getting bigger let's say it's 90 
more better yes and we can also change the edges of it so let's say the edges of it is got five edges and now you can see the base of it is transformed into a five sided one the same we can do with the torus so if I change this to let's say five sided that will also change into that now you can see pretty made here on three shapes which are feeling like that okay see you bye